Hi everybody, so during this video I'm going to talk about how to look natural with full coverage makeup. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with a under eye eye cream. This is a caffeine eye cream by Windsor. I like to start off with warming it up between my fingers and applying it gently under my eyes. It does have a mattifying look as well as helping with puffiness. So this next step may be a little bit unorthodox, but I like to go in with this Ilia Skin Tint and this gives me an SPF as well as my serum and it does provide a slight tint. So I'm going to gently apply this all over my skin. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. This is full coverage, and as you just saw, it is a very thin consistency. I think that if you're going to use a full coverage foundation, pick a foundation that has the thinnest consistency as possible. Right here, I am just applying it evenly over my skin with a elf sponge so for my problem areas such as my hyperpigmentation on my chin and my acne scarring I do like to spot conceal as you can see I'm going back over my problem areas using a brush I like to use a brush because a brush absorbs less product and is going to give you the most pigmented application. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to apply. So now I'm going to contour using my Patrick Ta face palette. I'm going to start off with the cream contour and as you can see I'm just going to start off by contouring my forehead under my cheeks and under my chin. I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk sponge and blend out the contour. All right, for my concealer, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever HD Self Setting Concealer. It is a buildable medium coverage concealer and it works really well because if you do have dry under eyes, you do not have to set it if you choose to. And what I like most about it is that it doesn't accentuate any lines or wrinkles that you may have under your eyes. As you can see, I am bringing that concealer up above on my eyelids and I will add additional concealer there because I do want to use that as a base for my eyeshadow. 
As you can see, I like to go in with a brush just to make sure that I have all of the lines blended out seamlessly. I just go in back and forth. And next, I like to kind of clean up my contour. This step can be omitted. It's strictly up to you. I'm going in again with my concealer however I'm bringing it up higher directly under my brow bone and I'm just using this as an eyeshadow base all right next I'm going to go in with my Lancome dual finish powder foundation this is a full coverage powder foundation and I like using it because it does allow you to get a fuller coverage without looking cakey and creasy I am applying the foundation under my eyes but please if you have dry under eyes skip this step Now I'm going to bronze up my face using my Patrick Ta bronzer. going to take a very large fluffy brush and just further blend out my contour and bronzer all right now I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay brow blade and it's double-sided one side you get a pencil the other side you get a really thin brush that provides a really nice ink stain and because I'm leaning in on a more natural look I'm just going to lightly fill in my brows So now I'm going to use this beautiful palette that was sent to me as a gift by the lovely Tanya Cortez. She has a YouTube channel and I'll leave her information down below. She focuses on foundations for mature skin and I honestly have to say I think she has every foundation that has ever been made. So as you can see I'm just starting off with the lighter shade in the palette. I applied that in my crease and now you can see me using the deeper shade and I'm just going to continue to apply that deep into my crease and continue to blend it out. For my lid shade I'm going to use this beautiful red and I'm going to apply it with a very thin paddle brush. I did wet my brush a little bit and I'm going to continue to apply it and I'm actually going to cut my crease and I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher uh, right above my natural crease. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna go in with this beautiful topper shade and apply that directly over the red metallic shade that I just applied. As you can see, it is very, very pretty. Now, if this is too much and you don't want that glittery, sparkly look, you can definitely stop at the metallic red. And for my lower lash line, I'm just using that deep purple and aligning my lower lash line. For an eyeliner, I'm gonna use this NYX Ink Eyeliner and apply that. Next, I'm going to apply my mascara and lashes. And to get a really soft, beautiful, glowy look, I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill Luminous Powder in Brilliant and this provides a really soft, subtle glow. So I'm actually gonna have two lip options and this is the Tom Ford Extreme Lip Spark in Clash. I liked this lipstick, especially with the eye look, but it was a little bit too much so I wanted to tone it down for a bit of a more natural look. So I decided to go in with this nude lip shade by I Heart Revolution. And this is the final look. Let me know down in the comments how you like it and especially if you've tried any of these products. Thanks so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.